This is a classic collision question. Two balls hitting together. You have all the stuff, the info that they give you. But the only thing you need to note is the collision is perfectly elastic. Now this, oh, bless. When it is an elastic collision, you can use what we call the relative velocity equation. And this will save us so much time in trying to, to decide what equation works best. So, just so you know, uh, the relative velocity equation, by the way, is just u1 minus u2 equals to v2 minus v1. So we have the relative velocity equation we can use for solving questions related to collisions. And you also have your classic conservation of momentum equation. Conservation of momentum, which is the very long one. m1 u1 plus m2 u2 equals to m1 v1 plus m2 v2. It's kind of blocking behind my head, but you get the idea. So they ask us which equation is not correct. We got a whole bunch of equations, so we got to check all of them. All right, so we have two equations here. One has mass, one does not have mass in it. Now, one thing I need to tell you, momentum, velocity, all these are vectors, so the direction matters. So I'm going to define everything that moves to the right as positive. That's usually how we define it. So you look at all the things here. Everything's moving to the right, right? So all the velocity, you just add a positive sign. And this is the, 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 the convention that we apply for all our equations over here. So we need to check one by one which equation is correct, which one is not correct. I ah, got one more equation. Why got square one? Oh, if you see got square, 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 oh, that means it's talking about kinetic energy. So, man. All right, let's make another equation down here. So kinetic energy conservation. Conservation of Ke. How do you know Ke is conserved? Kinetic energy is conserved because it is elastic. In elastic collisions, the total kinetic energy before, so half m1 u1 square plus half the other one is m2 u2 square, should be equal to the total kinetic energy after. So let's do that. Half m1 v1 square plus half m2 v2 square. Let's multiply every term by half. So this all these halves are pretty much gone. Very convenient, huh? So m1 u1, m2 u2, m1 v1. I'm just writing this out so we can see with our own eyes. Okay, that took a while. So we have everything we need now. We have this equation, this equation, and this equation. And we need to check all of them to see which one is correct. First one, m1 u1 square minus m1 v1 equals to m2 v2. So it's this is rearranging the Ke equation, right? All the square square. So you got to look and see, though, minus m1 v1, okay. Then m2 v2 square minus m2 u2. Oh, correct. Rearrange it. I'm doing it mentally, but you can write it out just to check and be sure. Here, let me scroll this up so it's not in my behind my head. And let's look at b. v2 plus u2. Okay, that's correct. This part is correct so far. v1 plus u1. Okay, that seems correct. All right, so far so good. We are looking for what is not correct. Uh, let's look at C. M1, U1, V1. Oh, that looks like equation number two about conservation of momentum right there. So let's rearrange it uh, or kind of like group things together. M1 is U1 minus V1. Okay, looks good. M2, V2 minus U2. Oh, that's pretty fine. Looks good to me. Oh, that leaves the only choice left is D. But let's double check. If you see the squares, that means it's talking about the Ke equation, which is the number three down. Uh, yes, conservation of kinetic energy, which is the one down there. So what is wrong with this one? Well, M1, U, whoa, 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 whoa. Hang on a second. How did they, you cannot just, one cannot simply group together the squares like this. Cause, because if you expand this, look, this will become... Um, u1 square minus u1 v1 plus v1 square. It's like, what? What? This is not correct. You cannot simply just factorize together, factorize out the square because it doesn't work that way. Maths doesn't work that way. So the wrong answer is D. Equation is not correct. 
But it's a good revision too, guys, because now you know all the different equations that can be used to calculate uh, any kind of scenarios with collisions. Okay, two things crashing together. All right, so that is all for this question. Um, I think that's all. Yeah, any doubts, comment below. But I will see you in the next video.